guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting between two episodes three and four of Amegami oh SS. Let's go ahead and get started with episode three in three, two, one, go. He's just in love. It's a disease. Oh, well, yeah, love disease. <laughs> well, once again, the love disease, duh. I mean, and now, okay, let me go ahead and say this. I don't think one, maybe in the game, one of his routes possibly was his teacher. I don't know. I mean, I don't think we're Persona 5 in it or even Persona 3 or 4 in it. <laughs> Having it be like, oh, hey, I kind of want to date my teacher. True, gosh. Hmm. We need to talk. Well, money, obviously, you were jealous. And you're going to straight up ask her? <laughs> Tough. 
Hot Giovanni, a sly dog. <laughs> Not the perverted hands, back up. Of course. <laughs> Are we here? Right? I mean, you do have to get back. No, it's perfect. Right? Don't make her nervous. All right, then make you move. <laughs> Her leg. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. 
All right, well then, puppy, go ahead. Let somebody walk in on them. <laughs> of course you would. I'm hungry. Wait, hold on! Hmm. <laughs> too excited about that. <laughs> I'm happy for you. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm.
No, it's cute if he spoils you. My God. Even if an older guy spoils you. Or even if the guy around the same age. If a guy likes gift giving, I think that's the sweetest thing. I mean, I'm a person where I love to receive gifts and such, but I also like to give gifts as well. And then I also like hand holding and such and also spending time together. Right? <laughs> It'll be fine. Tickled, also probably a little erotic. Mm, yeah. That's the one place that you really wouldn't think a guy immediately would want to kiss first. More like your hand and then your wrist and then leading up your arm and such. But hey, whatever floats your boat. Okay. Okay. Wait, hold up. Remember, you're in public. <laughs> Ta 
Tachibana, you're not really good at role playing. <laughs> oh, oh? Focus. Oh, they look at Jesus Christ. Bye. She's so cute, though. <laughs> I love at first he was like, wait, 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 oh my god, no, she's getting into it and stuff. It, <laughs> it, it's just like, you know, mm hmm you gotta make sure, like, you, you gotta be ready for all the role play action and stuff, you know. Guys, be ready for that. Girls, you too. Always be ready for whatever your significant other brings into the relationship, no matter what it is. Always be ready for it, because you never know what the hell is gonna happen and such. Because that would have took me out for a moment. Be like, oh wait, okay, you like that? But no, I, I love the fact is that okay, she loves spending time with him. Now the it, it wasn't well. No, in my opinion, it was a semi erotic kiss, especially on the back of the knee. I mean, because that's like one of the um one of the points. So okay, I'll use this for an example. So what I have also read on TikTok, freaking Nat. Um, TikTok and YouTube and maybe a little bit of Twitter, when you put on perfume in certain places, there's certain accents that heighten, like, your senses and stuff. Of course, the wrist is one of them, around the neck, a little bit down in between your chest for girls and such, um, the back of your knees, and then maybe around your ankle and such, um... Yeah, that was highly erotic. <laughs> like, stupidly erotic in, in stage. I, I mean, imagine being in that situation and stuff. And just imagine if somebody had to came in. Anyone. Not even a teacher. But like, what the? What y'all doing up in here? Like, uh-oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> it would have been funny, but then also embarrassing at the same time. But the fact that he kept going, we're like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I mean, that, once again, the, the chat AI is, like, freaking livid. <laughs> Hella freaking livid with him. I mean, damn, Tachibana. Like, props to you, though. Because, I mean, most guys, like, I, I can't speak for guys and stuff. But seriously, you got to have real good balls there. Like, honestly. Like, dead ass. I, I, unless she, like, really smells good. So, you know, hey, that's why, you know, we always wear perfume. Yes. Um, because we always want to smell good, not only for ourselves, but just, you know, hi, in general and stuff. If someone pops by and says, hey, you smell good, that is a compliment for us. We love that. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> McGod and Pud's video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode four. Okay, episode four in three, two, one, go. You know what I am kind of wondering, and they could possibly end up doing this, like, okay, if Mori essentially, like, is the canonized version, are we going to see him essentially be with the other girls? Like, as you see from the title, each part, especially when it is um, Mori, it says arc. So we're going a certain amount of episodes with each girl, right? And there's two seasons of this show. So how the hell are y'all doing this? Just waiting for Mori. <laughs> A love game. Up oh, 30. Damn. That's definitely bad.
<laughs> you never know. It could be different. Just try. You better do it before the episode's over. See, what a cool winky dinks that they went to the same school, everything else, and now they're currently on a date. I'm glad he's finally talking about this because, you know, some people, you, they would literally not want to talk about it. Damn.
Did she get out of the shower? Come on. The party. It's fine. Hey, but it's fun now. Oh my god, relax, bruh. <laughs> well, okay, good that you're in the right place. Oh, damn. Uh, 
right here. It's okay. It's snowing. <gasps> Well, dang, four episodes in, we got a confession, and these two might end up having sex. All right.
No. That's cute. T Ten years later, damn. Oh my god. Aww. Yeah, that's exactly what we're getting. So it's like four episodes for each girl of him getting to fall in love with him. That's really sweet. I mean, honestly, for a first four episodes from Woody, like the top tier, I, I don't know how you can go from here. So whoever is next, like, really... You got a lot to prove because, damn, I was not expecting. Like, you, okay, because number one, she was already best girl regardless initially for me. Because I was like, oh, she's so cute and adorable. And I instantly fell for her and such. But no, I'm sad that this arc is now over because they just, I, I was expecting, like, more. Like, I thought we would stretch this ish out. But no, because there is so many girls, we have to, like, have a certain amount of episodes focus on everybody. But I love the fact that, you know, one, they got to spend Christmas together. They both got to confess to each other and they had their first kiss. Ten years later, damn, they married. You would think that they would have kids together or something. But no, maybe like kids in the future and such. It makes me kind of wonder, um, possibly in the second season when when we do get there, that we get four episodes of each girls again, but they're married to him. And seeing what sort of trouble those two would get into as a married couple and such. And having to deal with their own offsprings, going to school and work and everything else and such. But no, that was really sweet. Well, damn, Cotter. Buddy. Ah, <laughs> uh, of course. It's always the best friend one. I, okay. I think I'm really probably going to like the Cowder arc a lot more. Like, yes. Don't get me wrong. Like, I, I like Mori. Mori did really good on her arc. I mean, this is like the popular girl. The one that everyone who is like, oh my god, she is our, like, she's the goddess, the grace, like, the holy of a holy and such. Love that. She's like the komi san of this show. But it's always something about the best friend arc and such and seeing the the friendship uh, slowly but surely blossom into a relationship and something more. Something about that is like really wholesome and sweet and cute. So I, I think I'm really going to love it a lot more. But I, I mean, yeah, once again, Mori. Top tier number one. Kaoru, you got a lot of ish to like.
to live up to for possibly these next four episodes, girly, because Clutch My Pearls, these was good. I was not expecting all that to go down for four freaking episodes, but I mean, because it, it kind of goes by really quick, I will say that, because like I was not expecting the love confession, the the kiss, and then going ten years later into the future, and they're together and married, so if it is four episodes, I'm okay with that. It's a good little pace, and it gets you to kind of really hook onto the relationship for them very quickly, but I was really kind of establishing, like, damn, I was expecting more. Which, like I said, regardless, I'm not mad at, at the end of the day. I think it's really good, but I think because of the fact is this is also based off of a game and such, there are probably a lot of cutscenes and little special moments that they couldn't put because of reasons and, you know, of time limit and so many other things but no claps all around 10 out of 10 but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes three and four of omegami ss if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next thursday for everyone else and next saturday for patreons for episodes five and six but until then i will see you guys all next time bye